Hello fellow Jakes, we're back with more Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase. So now it's time for Ancient Rome. So let's go! This looks like the outside of the famous Colosseum in Rome. Keep along the walls, Shaggy, and you should be fine. Groovy! A chance to put my balancing skills to work! So yeah, this time we're playing as Shaggy. They feel to alternate from each world. So yeah. There should be less stopping this time. So yeah. I I'm, I'm pretty, at least I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. But yeah, they should not bother us to post talking this time as much. So yeah, this level can be a pain. But the lives carry over. See, Shaggy's and Scooby's lives will be exactly the same. If Shaggy loses a life, so does Scooby, technically. So, yeah. They share lives. So, you need to be careful. Really. Well, so far I'm doing terrible. Yeah, I kind of hate this level. Really. Yay! I'm probably going to end up losing all my lives. And it's not going to be good for me. Yay! See, that's so stupid. Ah, like you can't go. I know I threw a pie, but I can't. Well, I could have stopped it actually. It's so stupid. You can't go in a directly diagonal pattern like that. Flying like that. Why not? Why not say pattern? <laughs> See, it, well, it doesn't really work. And once you get hit, you die. That's so stupid. Ah. I hate this level. Those skeletons don't look so friendly, Shaggy. I bet they just hate a pie in the face. You know, I thought pies were for dessert. Oh well. Wow. I'm not going. I'm not going to try to kill him. I just died trying to. Why would I try to do it again? Well, at least we have a checkpoint now, which is good. Ooh, they missed. <laughs> bye bye. That's a good thing you didn't hit me in midair. I would have been screwed. Finally, we're past that. You can't kill these guys, so. They're just there to be douches. To be douche bags. There's no point in wasting a pie on these guys. I failed to kill them. Okay, if you do two jumps, if you do a double jump, you can't slam down like that. 
That guy you can't kill. He doesn't use his shield, it's stupid. And he should deflect my eye. It's kind of weird that they die from a pie. Yay! Great. Yay! Yeah, see? That's why you shouldn't get hit when you jump. That's why you should jump across the gap while he's throwing something directly at you. Gosh dang it, just go up. Time to follow these guys. Yeah, this is a game I played from my childhood, really, and I remember doing this Friends, level. Romans and gladiators, and lend me your bones. <laughs> Yay! I got distracted by him talking, okay? But yeah, I remember playing this in my childhood, pretty much. Yay! Gosh dang it, I wanted to stop there. Talk! Ah! Anyway, I remember playing this from my childhood. This is a childhood game. And... I remember how... Deuce... Deuce... How much of a deuce this level is. This level is... Can be really hard, really. So, yeah. Really? The thing about this game is, which I haven't noticed before, that there's momentum, evidently. If you just jump without running, then you won't have any momentum to get over there. So just jumping on the edge is not very good. Those are same like stairs, but you can't walk up them. Like, did I hear something? Yeah, we have to run to this guy now. Shaggy, that skeleton gladiator is coming after you. You'll have to run fast to keep ahead of him. Like that's easy for you to say, Fred. You're not the one being chased by a bag of bones. <laughs> I remember this part of the level also, and it's pretty difficult. It's usually pretty difficult, so, yeah. If you're not careful, I mean. Oh, it looks pretty easy. I'm doing pretty good. You leave me alone. Yeah, you can't get past there, so... I'm gonna say, you can't kill him either. Gosh dang, yeah, and if you die, you have to do it again. Yeah, that cliff right there can hit you. It's got me a couple of times. Because you can't change the camera to where you can see it. Come on.
I almost failed to do that. The end of the level should be up here, so... We're basically fine. Jump, do the bounce attack, please. Phew! You made it! I wonder if the phantom virus is in the arena. Grab that box of Scooby Snacks and let's find out! Alright! He is in the arena. So... Well, no. He's not in the arena, but there is a boss fight in the arena. But that's not level 2. We have to fight through another level first. To get to the Coliseum arena. You're inside the Coliseum now, Shaggy. Well, and I'm detecting a lot here. of danger yeah. ahead. Be careful. Like more danger? That doesn't really make much sense. Coliseum's not this big. There's just one arena. Whatever. Oh yeah, he doesn't move when he does that. He will hurt you. <laughs> it, will, it will hurt to touch him, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, this one moves. It makes you think they're all gonna do that. But... No. Alright, so this level isn't as bad as the first one. There's less douchery going on. Oh, you should still be careful. Ow! Stop! Die! Alright, I can't go through that. Oh. Alright, I can't kill him. I didn't even not I didn't even touch him. That was stupid. Oh, so if the screen is too small on the recording, I can't do anything about that. That's just how it is. Shaggy, you made it to the Coliseum doors. You'll need to go inside and keep looking for the phantom virus. I have a better idea, Velma. Like, why don't I find a nice little cafe and order an anchovy pizza? I'm starved! <laughs> no, Shaggy, you can't do that. You knew you could do it? <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank you. 
time for the boss fight. You should know better than to mess with me. Now you're trapped. You'll never get out of here in one piece. Well, I'm convinced. Now how about someone getting me out of here? <laughs> now as you look, you're going to be fighting uh, a lion. So, yeah. Does my, does my mouse show up? Whenever I'm doing... I think it does. Which I don't want my mouse to show up. There, there we go. Is my gone? All right. It's time to be extra brave, Shaggy. Avoid the spears those skeleton gladiators throw at you, and run away from the lion. Wait until he gets tired, and then take your chance. Three hits from your pie, and you should have him beat. Lions and skeletons and spears. Oh my! <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the arena is. Around it is pretty much a hole. So you'll fall. There is a chance to fall. So yeah, you have to dodge these guys and then dodge the lion. Now this would be really scary, honestly. This is how every boss fight is, they just have three hits. <laughs> then they're dead. Yeah, this is a different attack now. He's not jumping at you, he's running at you. Which makes it harder to dodge, really. Right in the butt! Ha ha ha! Alright, so this attack is just them throwing stuff. Yeah, they throw it all four at once. Now he's doing a combination of jump attack and run attack. But it's pretty easy to beat. And then they just do a last attack, really. Wow, Shaggy, you did it! But the phantom virus got away. Come on back and we'll keep looking. See, yeah, as last douchery douche move, they just have to throw spears at you after you beat the boss. So if you got to that point and you had one health left, it's pretty hard to dodge that last attack. But yeah. That was ancient room! So yeah. Two worlds beat! So, yay! Next will be... The Arctic Circle. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!